Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overall Difficulty. In the previous part, except of uh, all the usual leveling, conquering, building, uh, we have found one important item, a scroll of vampirism. And I'm really happy for this because vampirism is a spell I consider the most important for the way how I play Dark Knight and I hope this will allow me to fight stronger armies and uh, make things uh, much faster. And also at the end of the previous part I've mentioned that I would like to talk about some new units we have access to. So let's uh, get to the building list where we will see them. And uh, those units are guardsmen and monks. Uh, why uh, did I choose these two units? Well, uh, how, to, how to start this explanation? Let's say like this, in one comment under the previous part, uh, guy, one guy mentioned that I will have to use some strong arguments to convince him to start using Guardsmen over Pegasi. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to say anything like uh, uh, use Guardsmen because they are better than Pegasi or uh, use Pegasi because they are better than Guardsmen. Nothing like that. There is. Uh, uh, many ways of how to build army, how to play, and uh, if uh, Pegasi uh, work fine with your way of playing, keep using them. It's just on this chart I want to uh, show a good version of my usual commander uh, melee defensive army. Uh, I will use Guardsmen because uh, they are better replacement for my usual uh, tier 2 melee units which are uh, which are tax than Pegasi or Horsemen would be. Uh, mm, there are some builds that are using either Pegasi or Horsemen. Uh, I want to show uh, this build as well, but I will probably make it uh, as a separate video, maybe some guide for another way how to uh, how to build commander's army. Here I will use guardsmen. Uh, guardsmen are not ideal unit for uh, what I want to do. Uh, if I was later in the game and had access to uh, higher tier melee units or uh, even here I was hoping to get uh, access to labyrinth so I would have access to minotaurs I would use the army a bit differently if I go for good melee army and I have access to all the units uh, I want the army looks something like uh, 3 or 4 swordsmen uh, 3 or 4 healers maybe a fairy behind them. Uh, from tier 2 uh, I focus on monks as the main healing power uh, with some spiders as splash and uh, uh, the main offensive strength of the army is on tier 3 where I take uh, minotaurs if I have access to them because they are really awesome. Uh, or uh, if I don't have access to them and I really want to stick to only good or neutral units I use maybe knights. They can be built in a way that they are quite uh, quite good at defense and then on tier 4 again it uh, uh, depends what I have access to. Uh, I prefer hydras, ph phoenixes but it's possible to use uh, uh, paladins for this way for example. Uh, but because I don't have access uh, to any of these higher tier units, I have to improvise somehow and uh, I will try to uh, build this army around uh, uh, swords and healers as uh, I would usually, three or four uh, of each of these guys and then the main power of this army will be uh, guardsmen and uh, monks as, as healers behind them. So this is the explanation for my choice here. Uh, I have to disappoint you, no, nothing like convincing that guardsmen are better uh, than something else. Uh, they are not and uh, 
I have to say they are not ideal uh, ideal unit uh, from tier 2 I have to say I don't like them that much but uh, from what I have access to they are probably the best unit to uh, do the job so that's the reason and uh, uh, about these units, uh, specifically about guardsmen, what they can do, they are some kind of upgrade for swordsmen, they are uh, similar to them, they have a movement of 1 with an option to get uh, forced march level up, they are not that strong in defense as swordsmen because they you know, can't get parry on their, on their level ups, but uh, uh, Instead of that, they can have first strike uh, as their as their level up, and if used properly in the defensive line, first strike can work really well. I hope I'll be able to level commander uh, uh, high enough to show you how to place units to make uh, swords and guardsmen work uh, good together. Uh, and one more special level up they can get, uh, they can get smite evil but uh, it's not that important maybe if we were on the world of uh, death or uh, some world of fear with a lot of uh, uh, demon locations around then it might be important but here I would say we can even skip this level up uh, if possible because uh, you know from time to time when we will meet uh, demons or undead we can handle it uh, without uh, without this level up maybe they can help with uh, with uh, with ghosts when I'm thinking about that uh, from medals um, I will probably uh, give them uh, even offensive medals because uh, I need uh, some offense for this army. Swords and Guardsmen are uh, more like defensive units uh, and uh, if I was building both uh, of these units only defensively all fights would take ages and I'm not sure how that would work. So. Uh, I would probably do something similar to swords, uh, uh, I'm building them at the moment, one offensive medal and then boost their defense a little bit, so they can take some hits, they can do some damage, again I'm not sure if that will, if this will work uh, as I want, uh, but this is also not uh, the usual build for this army, so uh, I have to say it's a bit of an experiment uh, for monks, at least this is a good unit, really good unit for this build. Uh, they are upgrade of healers, uh, their healing from the start is not that strong, but it's important they have ranged heals, so uh, I can uh, place them uh, uh, a bit. How to say it, not differently than healers, but I don't always have to place the strongest monk uh, right behind uh, the unit that I expect to take most damage. They can reach them from other tiles, so I have uh, more flexibility uh, with placement of the army. And uh, uh, they have some interesting level ups, uh, and the most interesting spell for, uh, from what they have. I would say is, uh, is restoration. They can get this spell quite early and I recommend taking it quite early. It's quite strong heal and uh, one important thing behind this spell uh, it uh, cures poison. So uh, when you have monks it's much easier to fight uh, uh, let's say bigger groups of tucks, I mean not tucks of slugs. Uh, and with some medals their heals can become quite strong and uh, you can uh, start moving with your units because uh, they will stay in range of your healers. So this is the explanation uh, for my choice and a few words about these units. And let's uh, get finally uh, back to game. Uh, uh, I have to check uh, what I've done. I don't exactly remember if uh, we have everything done for this turn and I can end the turn construction we can't build anything but we don't have that much gold seems like the problem with jams is fixed uh, we still have some problems with population mood in these two provinces 
and here we have nine turns until uprising. Okay, I will have to keep an eye on this. What about our uh, rituals? Mm -hmm. Everything is on cooldown. Okay, but next turn I uh, don't want to forget to use Gifts of Earth again. So it seems like everything uh, is done for this turn and uh, I will have to choose a target for for a warrior and yeah uh, he is hurt from uh, the last fight where I was fighting um, uh, four slugs so I have to be careful with the choice of uh, the next fight but I was thinking I will try the desert because uh, there are four locations and desert defense uh, it depends what there will be. There is more options. If there are undead, I will probably have to retreat. But uh, other types of defenses I might be able to do and use the fight uh, to heal uh, the damage I have at the moment. So I will try it. Before that I will check uh, everything is repaired. So let's go there. Uh, you can keep exploring. I would like to know what do we have uh, here as a resource. Uh, Commander will keep exploring capital for a while because I don't want to move him before I uh, give him all units uh, from the tier 2. So now finally end the turn. And what do we have here? Horse archers and horsemen. Nine of them. Okay, is this doable? Uh, if I was on full HP, I would go there. That uh, wouldn't be a problem. But uh, with only 35 hit points... Hmm. <laughs> well, I sh I'm coming from forest, which means I'll be able to hide the hero in forest uh, and lower damage from horse archers. Horsemen... Uh, it will take them a turn before they will be able to attack me so I will have time to boost my defense okay let's try it uh, I'm not 100% sure if this will work but we will find it out 5 horse archers 4 horsemen horsemen can do a lot of damage uh, if you can try to position your hero uh, out of reach uh, of these guys uh, in the first turn. They have movement of 4 and uh, if they can attack after moving 4 tiles their damage is uh, increased quite a lot. So where can I stand? If I stay here 1, 2, 3, 4 this guy can't move through this terrain. So I would say this position is fine. Uh, if I move back on this tile Maybe uh, I won't be in the range of horse archers in the first turn and uh, that would give me even more time. So let's try it like this. Yeah, they can't attack, so now I can uh, use first probably stone skin. And uh, end the turn again, see how much damage I will take. One damage... It's not bad, but uh, <laughs> I would say it's still more than I can afford because uh, now you can see I'm start starting to take some damage from these uh, uh, horsemen. And I'm on only 30 hit points. Hmm. Definitely time for vampirism and try to heal as fast as possible. If I drop too low before I will start healing back, I will be. Uh, my offensive stats will be lowered and I won't be able to heal uh, so uh, or heal that effectively. So it's quite important to boost everything as fast as possible. Uh, please, no damage if possible. One point of damage, one point of damage, another and again but this seems to be actually fine. Oh this guy is going in melee and he's starting Ah, this is a bug. That is a really annoying bug that appeared in the uh, previous patch. Uh, it wasn't fixed with hot uh, with uh, uh, 
uh, hotfix and you can see that this guy will now keep attacking and quite often it's impossible to fix this even with quick combat anything. You can see that I, uh, thanks to vampirism, I'm now healed to full. Or not to vampirism, thanks to my, uh, how it's called, passive stat when I'm healing every time I kill unit. Every hit counts as a kill now. But uh, I will have to try to fix this. And I will try it with quick combat. I hope uh, it will work. Oof, and it worked. Uh, nice. I was quite scared that I will have to uh, stop the recording, uh, you know, reload the game. And uh, then say that we will have to avoid this province because it's bugged. But it worked. We have uh, defeated them. This guy stayed alive, be probably because uh, the fight was taking too long. There is a limit for how much, how many turns uh, the fight can last. It's like 40 turns. If it if it lasts longer, then it uh, it ends, no matter of uh, how many units are still alive. But it's fine. One defender. Uh, we should have uh, the province conquered. I would say 300, almost uh, 350 gold, almost. That's nice. Uh, and the level up. What do we have? Either wisdom or willpower and I definitely want to take wisdom uh, because it will give me more experiences and uh, another tier 2 spell. So uh, better choice. And do we have that province or not? We do. You can see it here. Sometimes if uh, there stay too many units alive uh, you will be returned the province you started in and you have to go there again and finish uh, finish the rest. What about this uh, chest uh, filled with coins so we have a bit more gold but 50 gold is not that important you can keep exploring and what about you primeval ticket ticket let's check it fairy and dread Okay, that's a good target for warrior. It's a quite easy fight, uh, but with eight of them, uh, we should get quite decent reward for this. So nice location. Oh come on, descendant of noble family again. Uh, we will see this probably quite often on the evil side, so I will have to live with it. Uh, outrageous bastard. And another event, epidemic of black pestilence is broken out in the province of Springberg. Many are dead and many more may die. What can we do? I usually hire healers and uh, that fixes this problem easily. But uh, for the evil side, let's try something else and uh, sell those co corpses to necromancers. I I don't know what this uh, is gonna do. I've never done this before, so let's see. This terrible disease has taken many lives. lives. Uh, the necromancers are rather satisfied with the deal they made with you because they value infected corpses highly. After long negotiations you receive 63 gems. Nice! So good to know that this uh, event can uh, give you some gems. From the dark mages. The survivors watch in horror as their dead relatives are transformed to zombies by the necromancers. It appears they will not love you very much in this province from now on. I kinda expected uh, that uh, this event will lower the population mood significantly. Um, what should I say? Well, I don't give a damn what the devil do. Uh, uh, what the devil do I need to the love of the mortals for? Yeah, that seems like a good answer. But where did that happen? I don't see. These are holy lands or princess lands. Oh, here, and they are indignant. Can we change it somehow? Uh, I would say I will just place a guard in this province. It's already too many provinces with uh, um, morale problems. Adventurers should be able to handle this easily. They cost only 5 gold every turn, so it should be fine. I will try to work on these two provinces to improve the mood. 3 would be too much. Um, but uh, maybe you can go to this province and reconquer it. Do we have enough money to give you all new units? 
with 430 gold it should be enough. So the final version of this army for this amount of slots will be, I would say, you can go back to garrison, you will go to T1 slot, and you will go there as well, you will go to garrison as well, I will keep these two guys, these two healers, get another guardsman and one monk. Okay, and as I will level up and get more slots in the army, I will just uh, keep uh, it like this, like half of the army uh, will be melee units with as many uh, guardsmen as possible, so I will add uh, this uh, swordsman later and this healer. Okay, so I will keep them and this guy will stay here as well because he will uh, be uh, the guy I will keep in garrison. So for now the farm, the, uh, the army is ready and we can start fighting again. You will go into this province to get it back and what about the warrior? Uh, what do we have here? Battle mages, nomads, adventurers, uh, goblins. Uh, third ring of provinces. What can we do? Hmm. Let's try these battle mages with uh, Astral energy and uh, stone skin, we should be able to rise uh, the resistance high enough so they won't do any damage. Or the damage will be quite low. Uh, for the rest, you can keep exploring. And can we build a building maybe? I would like to get the Temple of Life because uh, with that, we'll get another uh, ritual that will, that will increase population mood in provinces. Uh, quite important I would say. So let's build it. And um, where can I use it? How long it will take before I get access to extravagance? Seven turns. And you will price in eight turns. This means um, I don't have to use uh, it here. Instead I will cast it on these elves yeah, and that will fix the problem so one one province is uh, calm again these guys uh, will come down with that extravaganza and here we have a guard so for now I would say uh, everything is fine and the next turn I want to use uh, these gifts of earth okay and the turn and keep going. Shaman, sorcerer, gargoyle, magician and stone golem. Okay, stone golem could be a problem. It depends how many uh, there will be. But I would say it will be only one. Because there are gargoyles, magicians. Yeah, I would say only one stone golem and then uh, that I should be able to handle. So let's attack. One stone golem, one magician. I will move up uh, as far as possible from that stone golem. Start the fight. Only three damage uh, from the first attack, and now I can boost uh, boost my resistance. So astral energy. Move forward a little bit. And uh, should I use now? Probably stone skin to be sure that I'm not gonna take any damage from their attacks. And end the turn. Yeah, this is fine. Even sorcerers are doing no damage. Armor failure. What? Already armor failure? I was repaired before I went for those uh, uh, horses. But maybe it's because uh, that fight took so long that my equipment uh, took a lot of damage. Okay. So I really should finish this as fast as possible. An astral energy to get to casters and start killing them. Gargoyles are down already. Mm, do I want to move close to this guy? I still have 5 turns on my buffs, so maybe it's not that bad idea. 
I would like to kill him before that stone skin runs out. But uh, I will start. Uh, I will use uh, Word of Fly for a bit of healing because uh, Vampirism doesn't work against him. Gargoyles, gargoyles are down. Okay, that's good. And still taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, Kill this guy, and maybe I will use the the vamp, uh, not fear vampirism to get some healing from those uh, from those casters because it works on them. Yeah, how oh, I'm healed to full. Time for another astral energy. I'm really low on stamina. And now I'll attack that golem, and these guys should kill themselves. Yeah, I can kill them with counter attacks. Okay, and finish that golem easy. And what about the reward? 300 and over 100 gems. Awesome, really nice reward. What about the rest? You gotta be kidding me. Eteral crossbow. <laughs> if I was running, uh, running a scout as a main hero and didn't have a warrior at all, I would be getting melee weapons. I'm sure. Now, when I want to use scout as exploration bot, I'll be getting these awesome ranged weapons. It has, it has plus 13 ranged attack. <laughs> this is just a joke. Why can't I get the, uh, uh, a sword with uh, similar stats? Hmm. Okay, so another up upgrade for exploration bot. And I will probably start running him just as another hero. Uh, now I should be able to get enough fights with warrior uh, without, without scout. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. What about you? Six defenders. That should be really easy. And how can I place my army? If I do it like this, will it be enough? Yeah, now I can close the line. Okay, and... Uh, how to use... Uh, my units. Like this. Uh, you will stand in the middle. Okay, like this. And uh, now I still don't have that many units, but I said that I want to show you how to use swordsmen to, to uh, their full potential, uh, or how they will use the parry to full potential. And is, uh, when this part is quite a lot about uh, theory, let's uh, talk about it as well. When I'm using swordsman with some other melee units, I'm building the defensive line like this. I would continue this way. Another swordsman here, another uh, strong uh, higher tier melee units here, and uh, the last swordsman here. Or maybe hero would be standing here, and on this style would be like let's say another another guardsman. With uh, the defensive line created like this. Swordsmen are standing on the tile where they can be attacked only from this tile, which means they get only one attack per turn. And that attack is uh, uh, almost fully neg negated usually by their parry. So when, when you position them uh, behind on these tiles, they will be able to use parry to its full potential and in front on, on the tiles which can be attacked from three direction, you use your higher tier melee units, so they take more damage, you, fo you can focus their heals on them, don't have to care about swords that much, so it's easy, uh, easier to heal them up, and also higher tier units uh, are usually doing more damage, so if more units are attacking them, they are then taking more damage from counter attacks. Uh, if you have access to minor towers, that's... Uh, exceptionally effective because Minotaurs have ranged attacks so uh, not ranged attacks, round attacks so when they are standing on these tiles uh, with their ranged, uh, 
come on, with their round attack they can attack everything around them and they kill everything really fast. So uh, uh, this is uh, the explanation about uh, how to use those swords uh, in the defensive line. It's uh, nothing special, nothing new, but uh, you know, why uh, not doing it when it helps? So uh, that was just a quick explanation. When I close the line like this, again, the swordsman can be attacked only from this style. This sword can be attacked only from this style. So again, he will use uh, the uh, the parry uh, to full potential. It's just these guys may take uh, some uh, high damage, at least until uh, they get some level ups. So I should place strong healer behind them. This guy with three medals. Uh, also, he will be supported by monk. And this guy with two medals should easily handle uh, the swordsman and the hero. So let's start this and I would say this will be all for the theory uh, in this part it's already quite a lot. Uh, tell me in, in comments if uh, I should like keep talking about these uh, and these theory crafting things or if it's just boring and uh, annoying and I should focus more on uh, uh, on just playing the game I'm not sure if um, if you want to hear all these things uh, as well uh, okay here it's time to start healing because there is quite a lot of uh, range units so I uh, don't want to drop uh, too low with my healers, then it would be dangerous. But you can see that the bonus from uh, um, from uh, commander ability that plus two range defense helps quite a lot. I'm not taking almost any damage. Here I can start attacking, finish one of them, okay, and uh, heal with uh, monk. I want to use him as much as possible because uh, I would like to get medals uh, for him. Uh, as fast as possible. You can kill this guy. Get a heal. I will heal that monk and we can keep going. When you change uh, some units in your army it's quite important to use them as much as possible because um, you want to level them faster uh, to catch up with the rest of your army which uh, was used for a while already has medals so it would be kind of waste to uh, keep using those old, old units and ignore the new ones that's why I will run forward with these guys so they can get more last hits, do more damage all these things help them to get more experiences. Okay, and the last guy. And we have level ups, so from this uh, stamina is better as I said already uh, like two or three times with only good units. Morale is not that important, I really don't expect any problems with morale. So let's go after stamina and for this guy it will be counter attack. Uh, same for swordsman, counter attack is quite important, defense is quite important, uh, but uh, if you get, uh, let's say, attack versus, um, well, there can be health, I would probably pick uh, attack because uh, I want these guys to be able to also do some damage and I think because they have, or they will have significantly more hit points than swords, I will be able to keep them up uh, with uh, my healers even if I don't focus that much on their survivability. So counterattack and a medal and as I said I will take one uh, will for victory order for each of these guys. And the level, f level up for monk. 
either resistance or hit points. Uh, pure survivability from hit points is better. And another location, Goblin Basilisk Giant Slug. That's uh, not that many units. I would say that's even a waste of time to go there with Warrior. I will probably do this with Commander later. I really want to use Warrior uh, on uh, harder fights only. So go away and to level up from experiences we get uh, by exploring and either pathfinding, looting or scouting. And I really want that scouting. So let's take it. What about you? Let's check the gear. What about the weapon? Only 22. I will have to go back because uh, uh, that uh, fight with those uh, horse archers took too long. There are still locations I would like to like to uh, visit. These adventurers, nomads, even those goblins. Uh, all these three locations would be a good target. But, you know, without gear, no way. So, let's go back and repair. Uh, you can keep exploring still for a while. I would like to see that resource. And, um, what about the commander? First, before I forget, uh, I want to... I want to use a ritual. And now... Hmm. Let's go into this province. It has some uh, uh, problems with overpopulation. So uh, I will try to find some uh, locations for commander there. And can we build anything? We have everything we need from tier 2. I really uh, don't need any other uh, units fr uh, from tier 2. Here we don't need anything. Maybe I could uh, build uh, a Herbalist Guild to see if I have any any hidden deposit in Swamp, uh, in Swamp Province because uh, I don't think there is anything I, I really need. Maybe Town Council to get more money. What do I need for that? Um, Builders Guild. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go after this. That 5% bonus to income. It's not important, but now we really don't need uh, anything. It will be just... Uh, I'll keep building because I have money for it and I don't have anything else to spend it uh, for. And end the turn. Okay, nothing important, but keep exploring. And Inquisitors, uh, these, uh, these negative events are quite annoying and maybe I will really level that scout because um, he will have higher mobility so he will be able to run around the map and uh, keep reconquering these provinces. Uh, and it was in this province. Okay, we can go there and explore this province. Uh, it also had some overpopulation problems, so it doesn't really matter if I go uh, in this province or in this province. Uh, wow, we don't have enough money to repair. 551 gold. Oof, those uh, horses were really expensive fight. Oh. Can I sell anything? This shield, maybe, uh, yeah, it's not a bad shield, but I need the money, and uh, I really don't believe that I will find uh, a good one-handed weapon for warrior. I probably uh, won't find anything better than this greatsword. It's uh, the way how it works for me. Uh, I'm usually not finding 
any decent items for my main hero for a really long time. So let's do it like this. And now I can repair. Uh, also I wanted to trade the crossbow to scout. He probably doesn't have gloves. So I can give him that as well. Yeah, no gloves. So you can take this and another upgrade. This is uh, this is crazy. Alvin bow and Ethereal crossbow. If I needed those weapons, I wouldn't see that uh, in the whole game. And now I'm getting all these items when I don't need it. If I remember that shard when I was playing a scout as a main hero, I didn't get any upgrade to my weapon all the time. I had to buy upgrade. Really had to buy a store to get better bow than the starting crap bow. Um. Okay. I'll just keep going and ignore this. Um. I will attack these forest guards. I could use some some money, so I will go for uh, one uh, one easier locations to uh, get some money back, and then I can either go for these lizards. But there is there is nothing important, so maybe another target back to this desert. That's another option. But those locations were not that in, not that interesting. What about other? Uh, provinces in the third ring. This looks interesting. Five locations, lizard lands, zero, one, only one as well. Okay, I will probably go uh, into this province, I would say. Uh, how does it look like with fair wind? Two turns. So maybe I will conquer both these locations and then use Fairwind to uh, get to this location in one turn. Sounds like a plan and uh, I can end the turn. We know uh, what to expect here and uh, with uh, this level, this gear and uh, spells I have I will just do this as quick combat with no limits for magic. It should be fine. Yeah, uh, a bit of damage, and uh, the AI uh, can take damage or end the fight with some damage, even with a uh, hero like this. But uh, there really wasn't any way how to lose the fight, so the quick combat is fine, and I can heal this easily in the next fight. Some money, some champs. What about? Oh, well, level up is interesting. More resistance, want mastery or magic power. I'll say I will keep working on that resistance. And the reward, another spider egg when I don't need it. Sorcerer's wand I don't need. Okay, as expected, no upgrades. And here, executioner, pikeman, healer, swordsman, crossbowman. Okay, this is fine. I will just web that executioner and with those guardsmen I should have enough damage to kill him. And the round attack, so quite a lot of damage. You can see that without medals those guardsmen are taking a lot of damage compared to leveled swordsmen. But I can heal that. First, I will use healers to heal uh, them, uh, you know, almost to full, and the rest of the damage I will heal with uh, a monk. And uh, let's whip him and start doing damage. Focus the healing on this guy. Maybe heal the hero. And keep going. Oh, I forgot to use uh, web. Come on. But I will survive. But this was, a, this, was, this was a mistake. I'm playing too fast again. Okay, what can I do? Heal this guy. 
This guy also needs healing and a hero. I have enough healing for this, so it's fine. And now I will use that web. And keep attacking. Can you finish? Maybe you can. Okay. At least their damage is not that bad. So as long as I can uh, keep them alive with my healers, it's fine. And uh, when I when they get some uh, level ups and medals, the survivability will, will increase as well. And it doesn't matter, you will run forward. Kill that healer. Now this guy needs healing and go go, finish this as fast as possible. Okay, so another group of Inquisitors is down. Uh, the money from this is not bad, so at least something. What about level ups? Okay, here I will take defense, that's for sure. You can keep exploring. What about this? Your spice report of terrible unrest in the province of Stonelands. The orcs are plundering and destroying houses in their own settlement. Who cares? Uh, Yeah, let's execute uh, the instigators uh, and execute all of them. Uh, usually races from the evil side uh, of the conflict uh, can be handled better if you use these uh, extreme, extreme uh, options. I would say uh, in this event this, this will work fine and they will uh, calm down. The orcs are affected by your punishment and uh, calm down quickly. The damage uh, to your lands cost you 21 gold. You can see only for 21 gold they are uh, they are quiet again. So work perfectly. Uh, what do we have here? Demonologists and slugs. Can I kill these demonologists? I should be able to do it. I have enough healing to keep everyone alive, so it should be fine. Uh, still have extravagance on cooldown. Warrior. Uh, well, this is an upgrade, so let's take it. Why not? So, this crap. Repair gear. And kill these goblins quickly. Scout can keep exploring. What about a new building? It doesn't really matter, let's build the Herbalist Guild. I'll just keep building these buildings as so I'll get money for them. And no hidden, uh, hidden deposits, okay. Did they forget anything? I hope not, so let's end the turn. Attack. Again, easy fight, so uh, I will just uh, do this uh, in quick combat mode. No limits, just to be sure. Okay, no problem. And another bow, what a surprise. This should be easy as well, but this time I will do it uh, manually because uh, the AI can somehow lose units if I uh, try this with uh, quick combat. So let's start. At least this will be uh, another chance to get a medal for Monk. Ok, 
OK, heal up. Another heal. I will heal this guy to fool. He will kill that shaman. And finish. Really easy fight, but important thing is I've used all heals uh, with Monk, so uh, I have quite a good chance to get a medal. Uh, crappy loot is expected, no level ups, and more important is no medals. Sometimes it's uh, not easy to get medals for monks. I don't know why. Uh, those requirements are, are still the same as for healers, but... Uh, Really, it can take some time to get the first medal. With the one medal, uh, it's not that hard to get uh, uh, the rest. But the first can be a problem, so try to use uh, your new monks as much as possible. Uh, what's this? Well, exploring the province of quiet growth, the hero Clearan met the spirit of knowledge by communicating with this wise creature. The hero has gained inv uh, invaluable experiences. Okay, but keep exploring. And now, do we have that fair wind? We have, so let's uh, use it on a warrior. Uh, repair gear before I will move on. And I can use new spells. I forgot to, uh, to take those. Um, one more fear for the... Come on, why can't I take it? For the first tier and the second tier, I would say I will take uh, one more word of life for uh, for longer fights. And uh, I have this fire blade, so maybe now it's time to take it. Yeah, it should be fine. So now I have uh, basically everything I need for warrior. Uh, for Dark Knight, if I had access to more vampirisms, I would take two vampirisms uh, instead of um, one word of life. But this looks good. This uh, really should be enough for this shard, more than enough. I wanted to try this province. Uh, buildings. Ah, come on. Buildings. Uh, what can I build? Still not enough money for the town council. Doesn't matter. Let's build uh, pottery. That's cheap. So I'm not gonna spend that much money and save it for the town council. But still, at least build something. And this is your target. Uh, what about you? Slugs are too hard. So. You will keep exploring for now. And end the turn. Eleven defenders. Uh, lizard, Basilisk, Medusas. Okay, these Medusas can be a problem. I hope my resistance is now high enough to resist uh, their petrification. And with their poison, I will have to uh, heal quite a lot. But vampirism will uh, will uh, solve the problem. Let's start. I will move to the corner so they won't be able to surround me. And let them come. For now, I don't need to use anything. And yeah, those uh, lizards shouldn't do any damage. I will start using buffs when stronger units come closer. Maybe one more turn. And now it's time for a word of life. Uh, it's not only healing, it also gives you one point of uh, stamina every turn. So like this, I will stay uh, with quite a lot of stamina. 
maybe I can even move forward to attack uh, to attack the uh, Medusa. It's almost down, but you can see now I start to take some damage, so it's time to heal it. Uh, use vampirism; it should be enough to heal it. Okay, first heal, another heal. And another heal. And it's almost down. I'm uh, on full hit points. Still three turns left for uh, for the vampirism. As you can see, this is the effect of vampirism. They don't want to attack me. So I had time to kill those Medusas without taking unnecessary damage from uh, those weaker units. And now when everything, uh, or when all those strong units are dead, I can easily finish the fight. And the last counter attack for uh, the last unit. Okay, 300 gold as a reward, nice. Some more gems, and we have another province. What's here? Wow, another province with iron. Every uh, province, every hilly province around our capital in the first ring has, has iron. <laughs> uh, on shards when I need iron I can't find it anywhere on the map okay so let's get it only four defenders so another easy fight and let's just quickly kill them Okay, I'll start healing this guy. Again, I will try to uh, use Monk as much as possible. Two more heals, okay. This will be one heal. And another heal. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, uh, monks start with meditation right from the start. So uh, if the fight takes longer, you can significantly increase the chance of getting medals if you uh, let uh, your monk to get some more heals. So that can make it easier. So, let's see if uh, we are lucky this time. Nope. Okay, but we have another iron, another increase to our income, uh, because we have mine heal here already. You can keep exploring. And what can I do? How long till that uh, extravaganza? Two more turns. Uh, do I have a uh, storehouse here? I don't. So let's build it so I can repair. Repair my gear. I can sell this. I really don't need it. But next turn I will build a storehouse here to repair uh, the gear for warrior. But let's check these locations. Five of them. So here has to be something interesting. Slugs, okay, I don't want to go after those. Spiders, no chance. Lost souls, wild pegasi, undead. That's better. Uh, what should I try? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's try uh, Lost Souls. It will be first time uh, in the Let's Play fighting fighting ghosts, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, here we will see why I am always taking one Fireblade. I forgot to build something, but it's fine. We don't need other buildings, so if I forget uh, to build, it doesn't really matter. Attack. 
entered provinces, another hidden resource, so another target for the scout. Let's move closer and uh, let's attack. As you can see, uh, without buff I would do between 1 and 9 damage. It would take quite a while to kill them. So it's time to use Fireblade and the turn and now you will see the difference. Bang, 18 damage from counter attack and 27 damage from counter attack here and finish the, six, the second ghost. So easy and effective. With Fireblade, Warrior is a ghost killer in uh, some provinces uh, far away from uh, capital provinces like 4th, 5th ring of provinces. You can find locations defended by uh, up to 16 ghosts. Uh, and quite high level ghosts uh, with other heroes it can be a problem to kill those armies but uh, higher level warrior uh, even I would say this guy uh, with uh, uh, one more fire blade and one more stone skin would be able to kill them so really easy to, uh, to uh, kill these armies and the rewards from these fights uh, are you can get even uh, even the legendary items uh, if you have uh, I would say 11 plus ghosts you can get legendary items as a reward and always you get a lot of money and even though if, even if you don't get legendary items the reward uh, is always awesome so it's worth uh, going after such fights here we have another level up and three new abilities definitely don't complex me things summoning is useless for for uh, dark knight so let's go after constitution more hit points more stamina will be useful and the reward again crap uh, Chris uh, if this weapon had uh, better uh, stats I mean offensive stats it wouldn't be, wouldn't be that bad with shield because of the soul stealing but with plus two plus one it's crap and another spell word of ice uh, I don't need this so I can get some more money keep exploring what about you oh, for skeletons and zombies okay that looks like a target <laughs> you will stand like this maybe it's better to uh, stand on the hill with you and uh, if they come closer I will just uh, move this guy to the uh, on this tile uh, replace him with scout close the line and healer will be safe Okay, we are in range and on level 1 uh, already 15 damage with one hit. One zombie is down. And now I will have to change the positioning a little because this guy will probably take some damage. I can kill those skeletons because the crossbow is doing magic damage so uh, they will take a lot of damage move hero back he would take uh, quite a lot of damage from that zombie so it's better to hide him heal this guy they can finish and hero can do some damage to the last skeleton Ah, oh, we don't have enough damage in melee, but uh, can I move on the hill? Do I have hill knowledge? I don't. So it's better just to finish like this. And another level up. And do I want more exploration or marksmanship? Hmm. Now uh, it's a decision if I. I will uh, leave him as exploration but only even though he has this awesome gear 
or if I will make him another combat hero, some kind of mix between exploration bot and the combat hero. Hmm. Well, I will probably go for more more exploration. I really don't want three combat heroes on this shard. It's not needed. Uh, what about level ups, double hit points for sure. Word of life, we can sell this. We we have access to this from buildings. So first, I will sell this. Repair the gear. Build. Uh, uh, storehouse in this province so I can repair my gear Ser sell that uh, world of uh, word of ice this crap I can sell as well uh, that Chris uh, also I don't need Kiras I will keep and maybe I will equip it for the next fight because I will go after after let's say I'm dead uh, this fight and because I can't uh, use um, vampirism against them, uh, I want to lower the damage as much as possible. And uh, after I will be done with this province, uh, when I will have to move, I will equip back the previous armor, so uh, my movement will increase again. You can keep exploring. I can build that. Uh, Town console now. And what about the ritual? Still one turn for extravaganza. So in the next turn, I uh, will be able to uh, calm this province down. Okay, but that will be for the next part. I would say again, this part is long enough. Uh, I hope it was at least a bit interesting. I know uh, we didn't see any interesting fights. Uh, there was quite a lot of theory crafting, but uh, from time to time, you know, there is uh, this kind of death part uh, in the gameplay where you uh, have to move your heroes a little bit, uh, reconquer some provinces, recreate armies, and this was in this part. So I hope at least you will find some interesting information in this part from the theory crafting because I realize that uh, from the uh, gameplay it uh, wasn't that interesting. I will try to make the next part more interesting. We are again in the third ring. We have some locations around uh, more third ring provinces uh, still unconquered. Maybe I will even try fourth ring of provinces. We are like in the middle of the shard so the chance of meeting the AI is quite high now all these things uh, will make uh, the next part I hope more interesting for now I thank you that you stayed with me uh, in the let's play uh, until the next time and until the next part have a good time see you there and bye bye